Sudoku with four more frames. <laughs> it was nice knowing you. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to record it, just so you're aware. So, um, oh boy. Let's, yeah, uh, let's see how we go. All right, guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to a brand new video. And today I am playing a co-op escape simulator map with my former friend, according to the map, Deathwish808. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? Uh, you're in trouble, my, my former friend. <laughs> <laughs> I am, I, I am not the, uh, I, I am an amateur at Sudoku. So I, I vetted Deathwish before I started and he was like, uh, I'm, I'm okay, but probably not as good as you. So yeah, this could be interesting. I, I don't know how this is going to work. I assume that yeah, we're only going to like, what? I guess we're only going to see like part of the puzzle each and then, um, that's going to be about it. Nice uh, space outfit there, dude. Hey, nice, uh, snazzy little nerd outfit there. <laughs> Dick. So, check the rules on the wall, solve each cell, blah, blah, blah. So, each, uh, so we've got the odd even Sudoku rules in play in this one. So, cells with a circle are all odd, and with a square are all even. And if you're on a diagonal, then digits can't repeat. Want to screenshot that? Cells with a circle are odd, square is even. Okay, well, that, that makes sense. Circle only has one one side and square has an even amount of sides so yeah that's a good way to uh good way to remember it so basically the diagonal is just uh, like another constraint like a, a row or a column you can only have the one to nine going diagonally once pick a color uh well you're dressed in blue for me so you might as well take the blue door okay uh, uh, now we're, hey uh, hey 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 okay so this uh is obviously the center cell right here because we've got the diagonals running through it so um we know that for a start have you got any um have you got anything placed already i got a seven uh that i'm standing on in the center so seven okay. six one two seven six one two in the center okay that's fine um so just for reference i've only got a i've only got a six um in the cell above this three here how many, just out of interest, how many like little, how many squares have you got with yellow triangles in the corner? Because they obviously kind of tells you what what we should be able to solve right now. I got uh, a white square with a triangle, and then I got a uh, a blank one with a triangle. Okay, so I can tell you for start the your column on the right uh she left uh yeah i was just seeing what oh okay uh, uh, okay that's that's the yeah that's right so what the column the yellow, yellow triangles for so the yellow triangles basically say we should be able to solve those cells with the information we've got and once we've solved okay. all the yellow triangle cells the part another part of the puzzle will open up okay gotcha so, right, so on my well, on right the, yeah, so somewhere in that column, you need to place a six. Because I've got a six in my left-hand column, so... Um, so yeah, somewhere underneath that five, you've got a six. Even numbers have to go in square, so let's put it there for now. So that should be, and I, I can tell you as well, that should be your only even number in that column, because I've got two evens here, and I know that they're two and eight, so... Um, any okay. of the digits on there should be odd. Well, then it would have to be one in three because, or, or nine. I'll put I'll put one in three. So what have you got? Have you got anything in your left hand column? I got two circles. So you got two uh, circles. Both of those are both of those are odd. So, and I only have five and nine left. Okay, so mine have got to be then one and seven in the top. Which is fine. All right, I'm filled in, but <laughs> you filled in already. I haven't placed a single tile yet. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally pencil marked a one and a seven and a two and an eight, and that's all I've got. I'm trying to work out how I go from there. So, what have you got? So, in your right-hand column, so in column six, what will be column six, the right-hand column? Um, right. What missing numbers have you got? You're missing a two and you're missing an eight. What's the other number that you're missing? Take into account the three that are in this in this middle box and your three that you've got in that column as well. What three numbers right. are missing 
It'll be a two, an eight, and something else. Well, I can tell you what I got down on my board. Yeah. So I, I want, yeah, I want, it, I want to know the three numbers you've got so I can make a yeah, educated. Okay. In, my, in my in my middle row, I've got no, seven. Not the, not the middle row. The one on the right. One, one six, and three. One, six, three. One, two, three, four, five. I guess it's got to be nine. So in the middle, I need to place a three, four, and five. So you haven't got a three, four, or five in the middle, have you? I have a four. Uh, okay, then something is wrong. Yeah, so the reason why I got the four in the middle is because I got two circles on this left-hand side. So that means they have to be odd, and that left me only an even to put down and that was a two which i can't put the two in the middle yeah no that's right so okay two so can't go there that, that, but then you see i can't i can i can only put a f on that logic i can only put a four in the middle because it's blocked off from this right hand side and with what you had left i could only put a one and a seven in the left hand side so what if my six was not a six and it was it was the two Um, no, it can't be a two. I have to have the two. I have to have the two and the eight on this side. On, on uh, here on my right hand side on column. Your, on your left. Because I've got a six down here and a four, and it sees the four there. Okay, well if you have to put a four in the middle, then then my one and seven here isn't right, and I'm going to have to put a, a four in this top corner. All right, what about in, on your left hand column? Can I put a nine on that side? Yep, I can't put a nine there. But you you can't you can't put a nine there either though because there's a nine in the middle cell, underneath yeah, the eight. Man, the eight, uh, eight has to go in the middle. The eight is restricted to the middle for you. It's between one five and seven between us. I can place one odd on the left here. So one of those numbers needs to go. I need one of them. Then you need the other two. So it could be one five or seven. For me. Uh, my, my my seven is permanently in the middle, so I can't I can't move that. Okay, so then uh, that's uh, got to be a seven for me. Then that's that'll be my. So then you need to put a one and a five on that left hand side, based on that. All right, and on your left hand side, can I put an eight? Uh, no, because there's an eight in the middle on the left hand side. The eight has to go central for you. Because I'm forced to put a two and an eight on my right hand column. It has to be the six. It has to be the six. I can't no, put anything but... else in here. So if we're down the right track at the minute, you cut. You can't have three, five, or nine in the middle. So if I can't have that, I can't have a nine in the middle. The only other place I could put it would be in my right or left column. Has anything opened up for you? Because I've got my next area of the puzzle open. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, so at the minute, everything is correct. You said so, I couldn't have nine in the middle. Yeah, I did say that. You can't have nine in the middle. I've got to have nine in the middle. I've got nine in the middle. I is it a, I, is it is it a yellow triangle square, though? Uh, Your middle numbers should be um, four, four, seven, eight. And that makes me have to put my nine on your left hand side. Yep. Uh, hey. Now I said that before, and you said I couldn't do that. Your nine needs to be in this column where I'm stood here. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do before. Yeah, but that's not my left hand side. That's my right hand side. I keep looking at the puzzle like the right way round. I'm back to front, so I've got to turn around every time. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, like when you're facing when you're facing me, your left hand side is my right hand side every time. Okay, all right. Well, I'll try and I'll reverse I'll reverse my stuff for you. It's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> 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 so just just let's just let's go what you've got. So then in okay. your bottom in your bottom you should uh, sorry. So on your look at me look at me on your left this side you should have a one a two and a five. 
Yeah. Then I got a seven, four, eight, a nine, six, three. Yeah, I think so. Let's move right. into the next room then, and um, let's um, let's see what we can do from here. So, um, instantly I can see because of the diagonal constraint here. So I've got an odd one odd that I know of on my diagonal. So that's got to be three or a five. Which way do you go? Do you go to the left this way, or do you go that way? I, I go to my left. Okay, so have you got any it's odds it's marked in there for you? I got the rest of the purple. So I got a yellow, uh, a yellow blank in the upper right, if I'm facing your direction. Uh, a yellow, uh, a yellow uh, uh, even in the middle. And then a yellow odd and at the end of the diagonal. Right, so the end the one at the end of the diagonal has to be a five. Has to be a five. Okay, based on your side. Yeah, because you've got one, seven, and nine in the middle. I've placed one of the odds, uh, so there's only one odd left. So my, my constraints say that we can finish off the rest of this purple diagonal, but I can't give you any more information at the moment. But a, a, a two, six, or eight. Two, six, right. or eight. It, one of those has to be a six because I can't place a six on the diagonal. That's okay, the only so, information I can give you. So I'll, I'll put that as the even. And then, so that leaves five, six, nine, one, seven on the diagonal right now. Yeah, but we've already got the three, seven, one, and nine. So your odd number has to be a five. Right. I got five. I got five on my odd. Yep. Six on my six on my even. So there's the point. other even is either a two, four, or an eight. Can you deduce anything from what you well, place in the it, first box? It, it can only be a two or eight. Okay, so I've got to have the four then. That's fine. I'll place my four where I think it can be. But apparently we should be able to tell where, which way around the two and the eight is. Because I've got a yellow I've got yellow marking on my on that column, so on that cell. Yeah, so do I. You should have a two somewhere. Have you have you not placed a two in the, in that first box that we worked on? Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Uh, so that has to two has to go up in the top right. So you place the two, yeah? Yeah, that and that and that, that two has to be in there. Okay, I'm all, I'm all good on the diagonal purple. Yeah, we've got something wrong then because I've just placed my last one down and it's not right. On your your right hand side, my left, I have two that are odds. And based yep. on what you, you have, it has to be a one and a five. Yeah, that's correct. Yep. And my five has to be at the top based on the new open area, one at the bottom. Yep. Uh, okay. And then the two. If, it, if that's in the middle, uh, and then uh, that keeps me from putting the two on the purple in the middle, so that I can put the two up in that upper right in this purple line where the you got seven one nine. Yeah. And then the next one on my side would I could put a two there, but then the center, uh, the center is a uh even number which has to be a six if you're saying it has to be a six that doesn't work because i got the six on my right even one over here i've already got my sixes placed you see so i cannot place a six on the purple diagonal you it has to go in that bottom corner I, somewhere i got a suggestion do you want to make note of what you've written down We'll restart the puzzle, but then we'll only place down the ones on yellow cells because I find that helpful sometimes. Let's let's do that. So make a note of what you've placed down so far, and then we'll restart. All right. So everything is right at the minute as we know it. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. um, awesome. looking at the diagonal, we're only going to concentrate on the diagonal now. So, I have got one odd, which has to be a three or a five. I can't place a five because I've already got a five somewhere else. So my odd has to be a three. So if you've got an odd on the diagonal, it has to be a five. Okay. There's my five, which is what I had last time. 
Okay. okay now. So one of your one of your no. evens has to be a six. No. It does. On the on the first one, I have a two and a six. Yep. In the middle, and I have to have an even in the middle on the purple line. But what about? Haven't you got another empty cell though? Yeah, I mean. On the diagonal. I, right, and I can put a, a two or six there, but. Yeah, so put the six in the one in the other one then. That doesn't say that it's, um, odd, odd or even, right? So. So now I got uh, five, six, and then we got nine, one, seven, and then. So, on your side, the last digit on the diagonal has to be a two, a four, or an eight. So, which one can you place? Well, uh, only the eight. Okay, so that's what that is. That's an eight. Right. So then mine becomes that a works. four, and mine becomes a two. E. We're into the next room. We've got no diagonal working going on here, so it's back to normal Sudoku. I've got two even placements I need to make on my boxes here. So you can only have one. No, ignore that. I have I have two odds, two evens, and two blanks. All of them with tick marks. Okay. You know the yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My... Have you got anything placed? You got anything placed? I got a, a one on the top row to your right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Is that and all you've got? So we got. So that makes one, two, three, seven. And I've and got an I eight. Gotta, I, I, and then I, I have to put a odd and an even at the top as well. Okay. Well, I've got an. I've got a nine. Uh, sorry, I've got. An, I've got an eight in the top row. So that means okay. your even can only be a four or a six. Is there anything on the bottom, on your bottom row, that can disambiguate well, that? It can only be a four then, because I have six okay. on my other one. Okay, so that means my my spare cell on the top then becomes the six. Okay, and then I, I need an odd, so we got it's one. It's got to be a five. Four. It's got to be a five. I've just placed, right. I've just seen my thing here, so yeah. All right, what have you got on the bottom row? Because I've only got yellow marks now on the bottom row, and... I have to place a two and a four in two of them. So if you... Are, are we talking bottom facing each other or bottom as we were... But where the nine, six, and five is, this row here. Okay. Yeah, let's let's keep that orientation. So can That's you... Have you got, an, have you got a, an even marking anywhere on the floor? Uh, yeah, I got an even. Right, so the, it's got to be an eight. Got, it's got to be, your right. even's got to be an eight. In the middle, I have an odd... And what do we have? One, one there. Do you have anything in the middle? I've got nothing in the middle, no. But I should apparently I can work out all three of my digits where this nine six five is. So what have you got? Where you just placed the eight? What else? Have you got anything else there or? Nah, the other two are just empty. Hold on. Empty. Let's let me think about this then. So we've got a nine there and a five. So, so it can't five, be a nine six, or five. Eight, nine. So it's got to be one. One, three, or seven for me in this bottom row here. Didn't you say you've got a one in the top? Yeah, that, that's, Okay. Yeah, that one's in the top left. Okay, so I've got a place of one. So your bottom two odd digits have got to be a three and a seven. Can All you do right. anything with that? They can go either or at the moment, but I have a feeling that... I can tell you what's in the middle if you want, because I can now. I've placed enough to work out that I need to put a three, five, seven in this middle row. The yours will be a two, two, six, uh, nine. Uh, two, six, nine. Yeah, in the middle. Two, six. Uh, so six has to go in the middle, and two has to go on that side. There we go. Yep, we're in. We're in. Next bit. So we're back okay. to the diagonal. Yep. Uh, I have yellow markings on all three. Yep, have, me too. And I have a odd two. I mean, yeah, odd two units. Yep. So the odds have got to be your odd has got to be a nine because I've got a nine restricting my odds. So mine has to be a seven based on the diagonal rule. 
Um, and, oh, hold on, I got one more. Seven, eight. Four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you even can't be a four. So I've placed the four here based on what I've got restricted here. What, what do you have on your diagonal right now? So I've got a seven and a four. Seven and a four, so... Six has got to be uh, one of your digits. Yeah, Six so has one, to be. One, one, three, four, five, seven, nine. Uh, We've got two, six, yeah. seven, and eight left. To, uh, sorry, two, six, eight, and nine left to place on the diagonal. But I'm guessing you've already placed the nine anyway. Uh, yeah, first the nine, because uh, six, eight, six has to go on my end. And now I got six and nine, and then I got one in the middle. Okay, I, I've, can I, I can I can maybe disambiguate. You can't put the one on the middle. Yeah, uh, and it, it can't be an eight. It, it, can't, it can't be a five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven, or eight. Yeah, well, I've already placed a seven and a four on the diagonal. The five's already there. I just I can, need to know I whether can. mine's a two or an eight. That's all I'm left with at the minute. Uh, well, I can't put an eight in the middle of mine, so... Can you put an eight in the other square, I can, though? I can only put two. Yeah, I can only put a two there. Okay, let me try putting an eight in here then. So uh, I got, I got six, two, nine. Hey, there we go. Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh wow, we're all wide <laughs> open. Look at that. Hey, where's the high five? Can't jump. Yeah, that, that'll just have to do, I guess. All right, so now, now it sh should be easy. Uh. <laughs> One, five can't go there, so that's got to be uh, one. one. Mine. I can't be an eight, so that's got to be a four. Eight. Can't do one there. It's got to be a one or a three. And this one here. One. Oh. I don't know if I've already placed one. It's three or a. There. Three or a, three or a five. Five's at the top, so three's got to go top. Five goes underneath. Do you know what you, I, I, can I just say that you're absolutely putting me to shame the fact that you're not using pencil numbers. I'm just like a so reliant on pencil numbers. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just I just don't use them. I just yeah. All right, that means three's got to go center here. I have the same. All right, so yeah, of course you got the green left over here. Seven. Uh, we've got a mistake in one of your cells, buddy. That's your fault. <laughs> this note, because you... I, la, 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 la. <laughs> Look, you said that you'd done this one before the, the wall had even gone up, but that one hasn't got a green marker in it. So we've got green markers here. It's quite a nice little feature that um, they introduced in the last map. So there's something not quite Sorry. right about that, that middle cell. We well, not, uh... might not be able to work that out, though, until we get a little bit further down. It's here. There's a problem. There's a problem down here because yeah, we've got one, not... two. We need to place a three and a nine in this column here, but we can't. We've already placed a three and a nine down here, so yeah, something I know, wrong. I know the, the nine and there's a great, the nine to six is correct. Yeah. So, to here, and you can switch. The ones that were up there, but now that leaves the nine. A nine still here. That would leave nine here, and we can't move this nine because we know that this one on the diagonal is right. One eight, yeah. So that would have to be a nine based on the blue column. That leaves me of a one and an eight here, which would be yeah. one would have to go there because the eight. There's something seriously. We, we've we've made some big mistakes here three, right so the, the blue one's not right the blue's not right everything was right until i placed those middle cells so i'm going to take these middle ones away from this blue so then there's oh. something there's something wrong with the yellows because we don't have it we've got all the cells placed but we haven't got a green light here well that can't be right 
You found the problem? Yeah. It's, one of, it's one of these in, in the middle here. It can't be a seven. The seven can't go in the middle. Definitely not, because the only numbers you've got left in that blue box are three, five, and seven. The seven's at the top, so the seven has to go at the bottom here somewhere on one of these three cells. The, the, the nine the nine has to go where it is. So that one's good. I know that. That's it. Fixed it. The three and the seven went the wrong way around. All That's right. fixed it. That's fixed it. Okay, so if three and seven were the wrong way around, that means that can't be a three. We'll take that three away. Yeah, so, yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. Seven. Is... Uh, that, yeah, that's the green dot. Okay, so this one's... This one's not right. That's got to be a nine. Because can't place a nine in the middle. Anywhere else. Three's there. Four and eight. Four and eight. Does that give us a green light? In the top left hand corner? No. That ha I know that's correct. That nine cannot be a nine. This one. Yeah, that can't be there. Based on what I we've mean, got here. But, but if the yellow is if the yellow is correct, this would be cor correct. This row. Uh, hold on. This is the only place the nine can go though, because we've got a nine on the green diagonal, which we know was correct, and then we've got a nine in this orange box, which we know is correct. But I can't move this yeah. four, so this is the only place a nine can go in this box. Okay. So swap the three and the nine yeah. round. So put I, the three I at the can, bottom. I, don't well, don't worry about this three. Don't worry about that yeah, three at the minute. Take that away. That's it. Okay. And... Five, nine, four. So that would leave us with a two, a two and a six um, in this bottom row here. Three, one's got to go. If that's uh, right, I then. Can't... I can't do that. So I was gonna say the one go here. No, that can't go there. The, the nine can't go there. Alright, it can't go there, it's gotta go there then. Well, that would work. And this would have to be the eight. Uh, we've got ones in the, the ones in the your ones in the wrong place. I've already got a one in this box here. So your one has to go where the seven or the nine is. It's got to go where the seven is, which means this one can't be there. Dang it. Dang it. Pick up the one that's on the damn top. <laughs> so seven's got to go underneath the six here. And the eight can't go there. So... And five. Seven. seven. Three. Seven, seven over here, eight over here. Okay, yeah, that's it. All right, two more boxes. So we've got to just disambiguate this white and uh, orange box, which we yeah, should be able to do. So it's got to be a three and a one on this bottom one here. Swap the three and the one round. Pick up the one and swap it round with this one. That's it. All right, so now we just need to work out the white, the, the top box. What have we done wrong in the top? Uh, we need a we need four in that that column here in this column here take out everything that's not on the uh, diagonal dude and then it'll we'll just be able to one ease. one's on the bottom that's a given four can't go there four, five, the four has six, to go seven. here uh, no that's double four so uh, nah, eight, eight's gotta go there where's the four can't now four's gotta go where the one is that's the only place the four can go we've already got one in that column Hey! Yeah, dude. We did it. Easy, right? Easy. That was pretty good. Yeah, I, got, I got a nice little clip of you, uh, your character doing like a little wiggle there as well. That was pretty good. Definitely a bit harder when um, you have to communicate like that, I think. The one thing I learned the most about doing these puzzles is try not to do too much until you've got the majority of the puzzle open because 
when you try and place down stuff that's not on the yellow marks for a start, that's easy to sort of like steer you wrong. So uh, yeah, floor, sometimes it's just best to uh, make note of what you've got and uh, restart, definitely. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed me and Deathwish fumbling our way through uh, this latest Sudoku escape room. Boing. But until next time, <laughs> I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Say bye, Deathwish. Uh, bye, Deathwish. And until next time, happy gaming.